and not the song I know well. So, so when did you get started with music? So I guess I started uh, when everyone starts playing guitar, 15, practicing Metallica and uh, bands I liked. I guess I figured out it's really hard to motivate, be motivated by practicing other stuff, so I started making my own stuff and eventually I tried recording it. and. Uh, yeah, I wish I didn't have hold of that recording, but I have, so <laughs> I've been recording a lot all through, yeah. What's the craziest memory you ever had? I'm very bad at like name one thing, like like one CD or one memory, but the craziest memory is probably being in the, in the hospital watching a baby come out of another person <laughs> that is just <laughs> that's, I would never and never have guessed how crazy that is I've heard a lot of your songs and a lot of them um, are about like biblical characters it seems like you draw inspiration from the Bible how did you go from Metallica <laughs> to the Bible <laughs> well you know, the Metallica part is just because everyone listened to and played Metallica I guess uh, the Bible has always been fascinating to me. I'm a personal Christian, and uh, I—it's not like I have a goal of writing about this or that. I just write what, is, yeah, I don't know what's in my mind there. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so, if you had to choose some of your life in five songs, <laughs> what would they be? Like songs I've written or just in general? Just in general. Yeah. Hmm. That's very, very hard just right now, but I guess. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's easier with albums, I guess. I would start off with like Manic Street Preachers with the uh, album uh, Know Your Enemy from like, I don't know, 10 to 15 years ago. I listened a lot to that in like high school. And then uh, I moved on to listening more to rock music and Muse with uh, Absolution. I listened a lot to, and I've always wished I had a more high-pitched voice and being awesome and singing like <laughs> that dude from Muse. But, and then I, I guess I moved more into like folk music Probably because of my my natural like my voice, I am not capable. I think of singing any different. It's very natural for me to be like low high, being like, out of tune sometimes, and not very yeah I don't know very perfect. So I, Bob Dylan has has been a big big impact. Tons of his early stuff I've been listening a lot to. Neil Young, his early stuff as well. I guess that's. I, I, I guess I moved back in time. <laughs> for yeah, yeah. Do you think um, your moustache and beard have anything to do um, with your music? Does it have an impact on well, who you are? I think it has more an impact on or. <laughs> It's more, yeah, more who I am, that part of me, than my music, I think. I'm kind of very... Uh, started off being lazy, because it's very practical not having to cut off your beard every week. So that's how I start off, and then I think it's nice to... Yeah, and I don't look... If I, if I I'd take it away, I'd, I'd look... 17 again. Not that it's wrong being 17, but I'm not, so <laughs> and that's also a part of it. You know, I mean, I am 17, and you know, I've been trying for a really long time to grow facial hair, yeah. it's just not working out. <laughs> yeah, well, you should just give it up. <laughs> I think you'll look better with no. So, you seem very down to earth. Um, 
How do you think of yourself as an artist opposed to artists these days, with most artists being like mass produced and you being so, you know, natural and authentic? Yeah, well, I figured out pretty early that if I'm going to keep doing music, I have to stay where I am, kind of. I'm very lo-fi, low-tone, very calm. So that's what my music is like, and I figured out if I'm going to keep doing this, I have to just keep it that way. I'm not going to try and do anything that I'm not very... doesn't feel natural to me. No, I'm, I'm just doing this. Um, I really enjoy making songs. It's it's something I've always done, and 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 I, I still really enjoy recording them. And I have the privilege of being able to release them in, uh, through a, my indie label that a friend of mine has, Very Happy Records. And I I just enjoy where I'm at, like musical wise. No one's telling me what to do, I'm just doing my own thing and I'm, I'm enjoying that. So hopefully some are enjoying listening to it. I, I don't think, that's probably also a reason it's not very, I'm not promoting it very, very well, but <laughs> I'm concentrating on the making it part. So what ended up making you want to try out for The Voice? Yeah, that's interesting because I never saw myself trying to do anything like that, I guess. But at some point, my inspirational, it just faded out kind of. And I, I, I sense I still want to kind of express myself through music and I feel like I have a lot to give kind of and I thought what the heck I can just just send in a recording. What are you listening to the most right now? Oh, right now? I'm kind of uh, I've, I've started out listening to and writing very melancholic stuff and I kind of I don't think I've ever moved totally away from it but I'm kind of getting back into it and again like uh, this Swedish artist, Mon Monica, no, no, I'm mixing Monica Heldal, she's Norwegian, I listen to her, but um, Melissa Horn, and uh, I discovered a band that was like, everyone's listening to them, but nobody told me that they were good, uh, the uh, Fleetwood Mac uh, with the Rumors album, I listened to so. <laughs> <laughs> How could you not know? Yeah, I know. It was like the one of the most sold albums ever, but I've never considered listening to them because I thought they were like pop, crappy pop band. So Stevie Nicks is like the passion yeah. of my life. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been listening a lot to rumors. So. What do you think your daughter will think when she grows up and hears the music you've made? What would you like her to think? Well. Uh, uh, the thing is, I have no idea how my music ages because my oldest or my first publicly released album is only like three, four years. So hopefully, hopefully it won't be like ah, like we feel about some '90s music, which is just like how could they make music like this? Like hopefully it won't be like that. Hopefully it would be more like ah, like classic. How you, I don't know, classic music. Like, mm. But I hope she'll like it, like be like discover her dad's secret old life. If I've stopped making music by then, I don't know.